Hi, I am Jan, and in this video, we'll look at how the Eon Tuner can help you find the best embedded machine learning model. Let's look at a real project to understand this. This is a bird sound classifier project that detects a house sparrow and a rose ring parakeet. It's used to count birds and should be able to be deployed on a microcontroller. Now, our machine learning pipeline has a lot of choices to be made. First, when slicing up the data, what is the window length that we want to look at? Two seconds, four seconds, or something else. And then we have a pre-processing block. Which one should we pick here? And then there are many options in the pre-processing block. Um, for example, what should the value of the noise floor be here? And the same goes for the machine learning parts. Here, a classifier. How many layers should we use and in what configuration? And how do we choose these parameters in a way that will still run on device? We have limited processing power and a limited amount of memory, and the Eon Tuner lets you explore all of this automatically. So this project was trained before already by one of our ML engineers, and we have an accuracy on the test set of about 82%. Let's see if the Eon Tuner can actually improve on that. So to start doing that, go to the Eon Tuner tab, and first configure the target. So because we want to know on what device this is going to run, we can give much better advice on what is actually going to work. So we can show how fast is this model going to run on device and how much free RAM and ROM will we actually have after training. Our dataset category here um, will be continuous audio. So it's not a single tweet from a bird, but rather it's constantly tweeting. So we can use continuous audio. We select our target device, here a Cortex-M4F at 80 megahertz, but we have a wide variety of other devices. Um, for all of these, we have performance characteristics already, so we know whether this is going to work um, there. And we can set our time per inference. Here, latency is not crucial. Um, we're probably going to look at a few seconds of audio anyway. So here we can set the time per inference to a second. We click Save, and we start the Eon Tuner. So what this now does is that it's spinning up a whole bunch of parallel training jobs, looking at all the typical varieties. So for example, varying the noise floor, as we saw earlier, varying the input length and varying the um, neural network architecture underneath. So this might take a while, maybe an hour, maybe an hour or two, depending on the load of the system, um, but you can just safely navigate away, go do something else, work on a different project. Um, and I'm going to check back with you in a little bit when this model is trained. All right, we're about an hour later and the training process is completely done. So what we see here is an overview of every combination of variations in the input. Here, for example, the window size, the variations in the signal processing block. Here we see an MFV block and a spectrogram block and a number of parameters that were being tested like the frequency bands, the noise floor, or the number of filters, um, as well as the neural network architecture here at the bottom. The most interesting part naturally here is this number, and that is the accuracy. There's a whole wide variety of ways that we can sort this. So right now we're looking at the accuracy on the validation set. Um, but as well earlier, we're actually looking at the test set, previous model, 82%, but sort there. So our best performing model actually are doing 93% on a test set, an amazing increase. Um, and actually there's not a single thing that is right here. So actually the model found two distinct models, one with an MFE pre-processing block and the other one with a spectrogram pre-processing block. Um, and the performance indicator gives us a, a pretty interesting indication how fast it's going to run on device. So this model will take in total about 450 milliseconds per inference on a Cortex-M4, taking up about 50 kilobytes of RAM. Very decent and within the constraints that we set earlier. This model is, takes a bit longer, mostly because we do a lot more signal processing um, and a small neural network and takes about 750 milliseconds um, with about 70K of RAM. Naturally, we can sort on a wide variety of other things. So for example, if you really care about the performance of the house sparrow, then we can sort in the F1 score there um, and find that this model actually performs best. Um, if, yeah, and that happens for, you know, precision and recall, we can sort on accuracy or maybe just on latency. We want to get this, the, the quickest model that we really care about, um, etc. all over that. But this looks 
pretty promising. This model is really fast, performs incredibly well, much better than what we had earlier. Um, so to set this as your default model, just click the button here. Cool, this is now set. And now you can explore, um, now you can explore this model directly from a Gimples. So here we go to the Neural Network Classifier page um, and specifically to model testing. And we see actually 92%, 92.6, 93% uh, uh, when rounded um, accuracy on the exact same model. And this is pretty, pretty astonishing. It's a 10% point increase, 10% point increase in model accuracy over what one of our ML engineers designed previously, still hitting the constraints that we have here. So pretty awesome. To start using the Eon Tuner, very easy, just go to any Edge Impulse project. If you don't have one, creating one is free, head to edgeimpulse.com. We have tutorials on classifying sounds around you, classifying events, like do I hear an elephant nearby, or even classifying speech. So you can build your own OK Google or Hey Siri model um, with ease, all by yourself creating your own data. The Eon Tuner is naturally still part of an engineering tool. It's not a magic button that you press and you get a model out, but rather we show every option that is there, every configuration that was picked. Um, and very soon we'll also allow you to uh, see the complete feature space or the search space and modify it yourself. So if you have any questions, head to the forums and we can't wait to see what you'll build.